here on a nearly perfect place for takeoff. Uh, the wind is uh, not really strong, it's perfect for ground handling. And we are on the coast, so sea breeze quite uh, lummy now. With. I already put the glider in the perfect position. Please take it, uh, take a look. This is very important uh, that the glider is in the same line like the pilot. This means the wind in the back should uh, look uh, to the middle of the glider. That the glider is uh, lying in a perfect situation here. Then uh, we always lift the glider until that high that the glider stays by itself in a nice position and I take the C and D riser in my hand in the near of the carabina and hold it back. This is the most controlled uh, possibility. This means if the wind is too strong I can hold it back with the C D riser and it doesn't overfall because A and B is free. When everything is correct I want to start I open the CD, let it hang, take the A riser, A1 and A2, and lift off the glider. And while lift off, I take my hand to the CD riser. Lift off and CD riser. Once more. Put the glider in the right position. And when the guy is up, I take the CD riser. The good thing is, if I have the CD riser in my hand like this, I have the maximum control. Uh, if I want to bring the glider down, I just pull the CD and the glider will fall down in a controlled way. And if the glider is above me, I just can hold him back and stop him flying. If the wind is very strong, I lean a little bit back and hold the CD risers under control. The glider is flying by itself. Okay, one demonstration. If I want to bring the glider down, I just pull the CD and bring the glider in a perfect position back. And I always have the hands on the CD risers, so I always can hold the glider. And this is the maximum strength I can put on. If everything is okay, I want to start. I take a short, quickly uh, grip to the A risers, lift off, and take the D risers again. So first A, and then C. This is the thing what is really important to train this movement from the A riser to the C D riser. This movement has to be trained very well. You told that it's, it's, it's important to have the C D, especially to to be able to put the glider into deep stall when you are. Uh, yeah, I can uh, steer. I can hold myself. Yeah. Uh, I can bring it easily down, and I can fly. control uh, the glider and uh, it's much more effective than just taking the brake. This makes too much lift and I can hold myself and I will not turn around if I don't want. I can stay in that position. For me very important is the parallel working with the A risers also. Always working left is left, right is right. I can work on the risers, look at that. I can steer the glider with the A risers. I can control it, and if I want to lift it up, I pull a little bit, and then I take the D, C, D riser. And control the glider again. This is most, most, more or less, very good for strong wind conditions. Uh, if the wind is weak, not strong, of course you can also take for more prestigious take the brakes also. If the wind is too strong as you take the brake, you will lift off. So, what is important? To have the hand parallel. Left is left, right is right. Left, right, controlling. And you don't have to think uh, what is if, if, if I have the right hand on the right side. If you do something like this, you always know, don't know which is right and which is left. So always take the parallel ar arms. 
if everything is correct and I want to start, I turn around, my side is left side, I take the right brake, turn around, with the free hand, I take the other brake, lean forward. The CD technique, you can also fly. What I also can do is making a deep stall landing demonstration. Deep stall landing deep demonstration, yes. Deep stall landing demonstration. Okay, this is the main technique. All the other things is just playing. <laughs> 